Hello guys and welcome to my channel. In this video I'm going to show you a new functionality in MeshMore 4 which allows us to bake room assets when we bake our custom metahumans. So uh, let's test it out. Uh, <coughs> I'm going to open my uh, metahuman in uh, Poser. And uh, this is the metahuman now uh, we're trying to bake. And uh, we have several room assets on our metahuman and uh, when we bake our custom metahuman we want to automatically bake these room assets right so uh what we're trying to bake is uh this uh deformation and uh, let's quickly do it We're just gonna update our, our deformation from uh, the new skeleton uh, uh, deformation and uh, in a minute we're gonna bake it let's bake this down and when we bake uh, we have uh, this uh, new option here bake room assets well, which is experimental and uh, we enable it when we want to bake to groom assets as well our changes to groom assets we enable it and when we don't need that we disable it right so uh, let's press ok this is gonna take a little bit okay uh, we've uh, finished our baking and uh, let's test it out As you can see, our room assets uh, now are matching our new uh, skeletal mesh shape. Let's, let me decrease a little bit the sensitivity here so we can move a little bit better. And uh, the room assets now are uh, matching on all LODs, right? So we've uh, baked uh, strands, cards, and meshes as well. So let's uh, quickly go through all of them. This is LOD1. On LOD2, we have cards, LOD3 and LOD4 also have cards, and from LOD5, we have uh, meshes, the helmet uh, static meshes we can find in our metahumans. And as you can see, uh, we don't have to worry about any groom binding and uh, all that, right? Everything is automatically baked into the boom assets so this is it for this video i hope you you like uh, this uh, new functionality it, it makes uh, our life a little bit easier that we don't have to worry about the boom assets so yeah this is it guys uh, don't forget to hit the like button if you like this video and see you around bye